What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Throttle Game, back up in this shit with another Moto vlog. And today's topic is going to be safety. And basically, I know a lot of people say when they hear about motorcycles, they're like, oh, accidents here, when it's not always like that, okay? Now, yes, a lot of people can also argue and say, oh, well, you know, uh, a good majority of motorcycle accidents aren't the motorcyclist's fault. It has to do with the, the driver, which is true, which is very true, I agree. But if you use my hot tips and you always stay on point, you always stay focused like a predator, then this thing, kind of things won't really happen. So let's let's just jump right into it. Number one, per example is what I'm doing right now, lane splitting. When you lane split how I'm doing right now, only lane split when you're ready. Don't lane split just because you see someone else lane splitting, lane splitting and you want to do it too. See how these cars right here on the edge right there? Lane splitting on, in those kind of circumstances can be really dangerous because one of those cars, they see an open space, they can just pop out and they can just hit you. So on those in those type of cases, you need to be ready to either to back out or get in. Same thing right here, this car could easy pop out right there. And if that happened, in this case, I would have just, so I would have slowed down or I would have just, I would have got right in that shit. I would have just zoomed past, you know? Number two. This one's kind of self-explanatory. I'm pretty sure most people know this, but see this distance that I'm giving right now? This should be the normal amount, almost of distance that you should give between you and a car because there's so many cars that just stop on a dime. They stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. And if you're riding their ass and they stop or say like their tire blows out or, or anything like that, you're not gonna really have the, the right set amount of brakes to kind of stop and avoid that danger, you know? But that one's already kind of a given because it's the same thing as driving. You, don't, you, you know, you don't really wanna rear in somebody. So that's why you shouldn't be going so close to other, to other drivers, uh, even other motorcyclists in general. Tip number three! Always have a second plan. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of times too that a lot of motorcyclists don't have. Always have. Think ahead all the time. It, like, okay, for a good example, if if I switch lanes over here, while, while I'm switching lanes, I'm thinking. I'm thinking in my head. Okay, if I switch lanes and that car is gonna cut me off, where, where would I go? You have to think of it like that. You have to always have a second plan. Whatever move you do on a motorcycle, whether it be uh, switching lanes, I almost went right now, <laughs> whether it be switching lanes or just uh, going down the street, always think of, think ahead. Oh, you gotta always think ahead because if you think ahead, then when those situations happen, you're not, you know, like I said, you're, you're not gonna be stuck. You're not gonna be, you're not, because when those situations happen, especially if you're on a bigger bike like mine, then the reaction time that you have is really, really small and you don't have a lot of reaction time and you need that reaction time to think look at this guy look he, he's probably gonna cut over you gotta think about that too hot tip number four this one basically is kind of goes along with lane splitting what you do not want to do is when you're riding down a busy street like this you don't want to ride like this because all these cars they're not gonna see you when they pull out bam I guess they're gonna hit you so when you're riding down a street like this try to ride like this like try to ride more closer to the middle line so that way when these cars pull out they're not gonna hit you they're not gonna you know because when these half of the time these, they don't see you they, they they don't give a shit so you need to you need to always you know that goes with being always on guard you know just assume the worst that sounds bad but kind of assume the worst so that way when the worst happens you're not like oh my god Ugh. so everybody that concludes my safety quick a uh, little moto vlog that I have for you guys. I hope everybody has a good weekend. I hope everyone stays safe out there. Um, and as always, like, comment, and definitely subscribe. And this is your boy, Portal Games. I am motherfucking out. Peace.